When Marion McLaughlin was born in late 2015, her parents Paul and Sarah knew something wasn't right. Her legs were very thin, her cries weren't loud, and her milestones were delayed. They spent a year and four months pursuing tests and doctor's exams. But their suspicions could never have prepared them for her diagnosis, childhood Alzheimer's. The progressive, fatal condition, officially known as Neiman Pick disease type C, causes enlarged organs, lung damage, muscle stiffness, dementia and difficulty speaking. It affects just 500 children worldwide. In most cases, symptoms appear around the age of 4. Sufferers rarely live past the age of 10. There is hope for Marion in the form of a new clinical trial that has developed a drug to stabilize children in decline and halt the disease's progression. The parents of the 19-month-old, from Los Angeles, California, have spoken to Daily Mail online about their race against time to find treatment before the disease robs Marion of her speech and mobility and kills her. Paul and Sarah, who also have a four-year-old daughter named Emily, received nothing concrete until shortly after Marion's first birthday in September 2016. We saw that she wasn't reaching her milestones on time, Sarah told Daily Mail Online. You know, we were like, she's not holding her head up. She's not reaching for a toy. She's not holding eye contact. And then every time we were at the brink of worrying, she'd reach the milestones so we just thought she had a learning delay. Doctors at Children's Hospital Los Angeles detected an enlarged spleen, combined with ongoing, mild muscle weakness. For five months, they visited a number of specialists, a hematologist, a gastroenterologist, a geneticist, and a neurodiagnostician, and ordered a battery of tests. Finally, this February, the McLaughlins received a diagnosis of NPC. NPC is a rare, progressive genetic disorder, which is characterized by an inability of the body to metabolize cholesterol and other fatty substances inside of cells. This causes enlarged organs, lung damage, and slow and steady neurological deterioration, in the form of dementia. The muscles will begin to stiffen to the point where patients are unable to walk. Speech becomes more difficult until sufferers are unable to talk, or even breathe, before eventually succumbing to the disease. Only 500 children in the world have been diagnosed, and there was a 1 in 150,000 chance that Marion would have the disease. It was horrible, it was kind of my worst fear, Sarah said. I was upstairs, and I could hear the girls playing and laughing with a babysitter, and it was just so difficult to comprehend and face. How do you go grocery shopping with this happening? How do you go about your day worried that your child might die? And doctors told her parents there was a 25% chance that their four-year-old daughter, Emily, might have NPC too, but her results came back negative. Over half of children diagnosed die by age 10 without intervention. However, weeks after Marion's diagnosis, the family learned that a clinical trial could stabilize the disease's progression. Cyclodextrin has been tested. In lab trials on mice, it extended sufferers lives fivefold. The drug has now reached phase 2 and 3 trials on humans. VTS 270 is a sugar compound found in fat-free dressings and margarine. It appears to stabilize children in decline and substantially halt NPC's progression, something which seemed scientifically impossible only a few years ago. Currently, VTS 270 can only be administered via spinal tap under anesthesia in a hospital every two weeks, indefinitely, and the treatment is only available in Chicago, Illinois. While Marion is too young to be enrolled in the trial, participants have to be four years old or older, she is eligible for compassionate use. This occurs when seriously ill patients are treated using a new, unapproved drug when no other treatments are available. Marion's use of VTS 270 begins on Monday. For the indefinite future, she will be traveling back and forth from California to Illinois for treatment. The family has set up a Facebook page to document Marion's journey as well as a GoFundMe to cover medical expenses. Out of their $150,000 goal, more than $57,000 has been raised. Genetic researchers say, this type of family-driven funding is what is pushing progress towards finding a cure. 
Doctors have told me that they think NCP will be like cystic fibrosis where, you know, in the last 20 years, the life expectancy has tripled, Sarah said. But Marion could start declining in 10 years, 5 years or tomorrow. So we wonder if that increased life expectancy will be at the beginning, at the middle or at the end of her journey. Will it happen in time for Marion? And I hope that it will.